Hi guys. Um, this is Tiffany, and um, I want you guys to bear with me um, because I am driving. But I wanted to give you an update as soon as possible, and um, I have to get back to the rescue house to pick up Drizzy. So I figured I would jump on while I was driving. Um, I just want to make sure that you guys can hear me okay um, before I start talking. Turn my air down so it's a little bit quieter in here. Hi guys. Keith, you can hear me fine. Okay, thank you so much. Um, okay, so I just left Coral Springs Animal Hospital with Mickey. Um, Mickey was the little Maltese that when I got to Miami-Dade Animal Services to pick up Missy, who we had previously had a hold on, um, Joelle, the rescue coordinator, grabbed me and said, I have a dog I need to show you. And he brought me in the back and he showed me this little face and he said, he can't walk. And I said, what do you mean he can't walk? And um, he said, the owners brought him in. Um, they said uh, he was in pain, um, he couldn't walk, they took him to the vet, and the medications weren't working, so they brought him to the shelter. Don't even get me started on that situation, but regardless, they brought him to the shelter. I saw his face, I immediately took a photo of him and sent it to Amy and said, Amy, please, I cannot leave here without him. He can't walk, he's in pain, I have no idea what's wrong with him, the shelter has no idea what's wrong with him, he could have a broken back, we don't know, but if he's not gonna make it, at least he'll not make it in my arms and not in this cold, sterile shelter and leaving in a garbage bag. So, of course, Amy said, yes, get him, pull him, you know we'll figure it out and we did um, so I just brought him to Coral Springs Animal Hospital and he cannot walk um, the doctor and the surgeon examined him the surgeon that was there on staff today um, they examined him um, he cannot walk he is not ambulatory um, and he is very, very painful. Um, we're not entirely sure what is wrong with him. Um, he needs an MRI. Um, they do have an MRI at Coral Springs Animal Hospital, but their neurologist is not always there. And this happens to be the weekend that she's off and she's not on call. So there would be nobody there to run the MRI machine and nobody there to do the surgery um, if he has to go right to surgery. So therefore, we are going tomorrow. We're, he's staying there overnight, and I, I have the bill for that, which I will show you guys. Um, he's staying there overnight, and then tomorrow morning, I am going to pick him up. And then I'm going to drive him all the way down to South Miami to Dr. Wong's office, um, who is a neurologist. And if Amy is watching, she can tell you the name of the surgeon that is actually going to be doing the surgery because at the moment I cannot remember his name. Um, but he is a neurologist. Um, he actually did our dog Bobby's back surgery, if you guys remember when Bobby had an issue and had to have back surgery. It's the same surgeon that's going to be doing it. Um, so I will be picking him up tomorrow and bringing him down there to have the MRI done. And if he needs to go into surgery, then it's frozen. Okay, I'll wait a second if it's frozen. but it's getting really dark and nasty here so I'm probably having some connection issues. Am I back yet? I'm back. Okay. 
Um, so I will be picking him up tomorrow morning from Coral Springs Animal Hospital and driving him down to South Miami to the neurologist um, to go into the MRI, have that done, see what we're dealing with, and if he has to go into surgery, go immediately into back surgery. Um, that's the plan for tomorrow, um, as of now. While we were at Coral Springs Animal Hospital, of course we wanted to make sure that he was as comfortable as possible because he is in a lot of pain. Um, so we also had them run a CBC and a chem on him um, so that they could safely administer pain medications. Of course, when we got that back, we found that he was severely dehydrated so we started him on IV fluids um, immediately. We also found that he has a very high white cell count and he also has very high liver um, enzymes. Both, both liver enzymes are very elevated. We don't know what that's about or, or why. Um, it may complicate surgery tomorrow. We don't know, but we started him immediately on IV fluids for the dehydration, we started him on antibiotics for the white cell, and we started him on um, liver medication for his liver levels. So he's on fluids, he's on antibiotics, he's on pain meds, he's on liver enzymes, and um, he's being kept as comfortable as possible for the night until we bring him um, to Miami tomorrow to the neurologist for him to examine him and to have an MRI done and to look over all of the blood work and see what we're dealing with. Um, as of right now, we have no idea what we're dealing with. The doctor at Coral Springs mentioned um, it could be some sort of infectious disease um, on top of a disc issue or it could just be disease issue or it, there, there's several things kind of in play at the moment um, without knowing any back history um, on this dog. So the bill for what was done today and the hospitalization overnight and into tomorrow until I pick him up in the morning is on the low end. I'm gonna wait until we stop <laughs> to look down at the paper because I am driving at the moment. I'm coming to a red light. Um, so again, this is just for the hospitalization tonight, overnight, um, the placement of the catheter, the blood tests, the chemistries, the IV fluids, the IV pain medications, the IV antibiotics, the IV liver um, enzymes. The low end is $1,849.77 and the high end is $2,149.43. Low end and high end. Just so you can see. Um, so that is just for the rest of today, overnight, until I pick him up tomorrow morning. Um, and then take him to Dr. Wong in South Miami, where he will have an MRI, a consult, and potentially if everything is aligned and it's safe, he'll go directly into surgery. Um, we won't know that until we get there and have a consult with him. But we know from experience in the past, because we've gone through this, um, an MRI consult with a neurosurgeon and surgery is probably gonna cost us $10,000, um, at least around there. Um, on top of what we just paid for tonight. So it's not always easy to save a little life. You know, I saw his face and I just couldn't leave there without him. 
and not leaving there without him is potentially costing our rescue $12,000 on the low end as of right now, depending on what happens tomorrow. Um, but if I would have left him there, I looked through his notes when I got to Coral Springs Animal Hospital and looked through what the veterinary there at the um, shelter had written in his notes. Um, and basically it had stated, you know, the dog can't walk, he's in pain, blah, blah, blah. Um, blast for rescue. If no rescue commitment, um, euthanasia at 5 p.m. So if we did not pull Mickey out of that shelter today, it is 6 p.m. He would have been dead for an hour and he would have been in one of those black trash bags on his way to the landfill tonight. And we just could not allow that to happen. So is he gonna be quite costly for our rescue? Yes, but is his little life worth it? Absolutely. Because he would be dead right now if we didn't pull him. So um, I showed you the, the estimate for today. Again, that is just for getting him stable, keeping him comfortable overnight. And then tomorrow morning, we move him down to South Miami to the neurologist for the consult, the MRA, and potential surgery, which could cost upwards of $10,000 on top of this $2,000 bill for just tonight. So I'm asking you all to please donate for Mickey. I didn't know it was going to cost this much when I asked Amy to save him. I just could not leave him there. I just had his little face in my hands and I knew what was going to happen if I walked out of that room without him. He didn't even have a photo on his um, intake. I'm going to show you. I'm at a red light right now. This is his intake for Miami-Dade Animal Services. Sorry, no photo. You know why? Because they weren't planning on him being alive tonight. So, I knew that. Amy knew that when I messaged her. We had no idea what it was gonna cost to save him, but we did it anyway. Because his life matters, as do all the other dogs that we touch and we save. So, I am begging you all to please donate even if it's a dollar. I know people say it all the time, oh, I can only donate a dollar, I can only donate five dollars. I'm sorry, I know it's not much. Yes, it is, because if everybody donated a dollar, we'd have $250,000. So every dollar adds up to something. So don't feel like your dollar does not matter, because it does. Every dollar matters. So if you would please donate towards his care so we can make sure that he gets the best possible chance at a new life, pain-free and hopefully walking again because we can't do it without you guys. Um, <clears throat> I'm sure that they will call Amy in a few hours with a nighttime update of, of how he's doing. Um, we immediately had them start him on pain medications um, as soon as we got there because we knew that he was in pain. So we know they've got his pain managed um, and they've already had the um, IV catheter, the antibiotics started and um, the other medications going before I even left the hospital. So I know he's in the best hands and he's getting the best possible care um, that he can. Unfortunately, that doesn't come cheap um, so I'm sure Amy will have some sort of an update later this evening, um, on how he's doing. And then tomorrow morning, um, I will jump on 
either when I grab him from the hospital or when I get down to South Miami to the neurologist office. Um, I'm not sure. I guess it just kind of depends how the day goes tomorrow, but I will definitely keep you guys updated along the way how things are going, where we're at with him, and what the plan is uh, for his care. But um, if you could please donate. If you could have saw this little face sitting in the seat next to me, peeking out of that little box just begging me to pet him. And just the sweetest little personality having to endure such pain. And then being dumped at a shelter by his family that turned around and walked away while he's sitting there in pain. It just killed me today. So um, please donate. Again, the link to the PayPal is on this video. Also, I believe the address to mail a check, if you would prefer to do that, is on here as well. Um, Amy will update tonight if there is any updates on him, and I will jump on tomorrow and let you know how things are going um, once I have him and we are at the neurologist. So thank you all once again, just so you can see. This was his bill. Sorry. Just for tonight. Just to get him stable and pain free until we move him tomorrow. That was our bill for tonight. <clears throat> and we are looking for looking forward to a much more costly bill tomorrow. <coughs> <coughs> when we get him to the neurologist. So thank you all for listening. Thank you all for supporting us, our mission, our rescue, our dogs. And thank you for donating. 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida. <laughs>